This month, we're talking about mine safety technology, touching on new collision avoidance systems, CAS, and operator alertness systems, OAS, that are being developed to help keep miners safe. In 2021, the U.S. mining industry lost 16 miners in powered haulage accidents, the highest number ever. But in 2022, last year, that number dropped to six powered haulage fatalities. Now, that may have been partly because there was so much more attention being put on powered haulage from sources such as Core Safety TV, MSHA, and from mine operators themselves. Many companies are working on safety solutions in this area. One of them is the mining division of Hexagon. They're a leading sensor and software technology company that's developing autonomous safety solutions for mining, while also keeping a keen eye on the human factor. Josh Savitt is Hexagon's global manager of Mine Protect Safety Solutions. We're going to hear from him right now. We offer a safety solution methodology through technology. One of the things that Hexagon strives for is engaging operators on a level of trust to say this technology is there for you and without you this technology doesn't work so we are a very operator first group of people who recognize that all safety starts with the individual and even though process management and methodologies are incredibly important it's a human that's driving the vehicle, it's a human that's involved in this, and it's a human that takes on this role. So from our point of view, we look at safety from the human factor, even though we build technology for the, the haul truck and we build all these outputs for it. The operators need to know that a collision avoidance system or an operator alertness system, our CAS system or our OAS is going to provide them alarms in a timely, viable manner that's going to help them make decisions. And then, and only then, do we create data out of that. Hexagon has recently introduced a unified technology platform and partnership that connects all parts of a mine. They call this the power of one. They see it as a set of holistic solutions, which include safety, in which all sensors and software are connected with an intelligent monitoring system that can be accessed from the field to the cloud. However, they say it's really not just about the technology. It's about working to make their customers successful. And that's where the partnership comes in. But how do you get the buy-in for something like this from the miners who are actually on the job every day? For example, the men and women who are driving haul trucks. Our systems are there to help you and to empower you. They're not there to catch you doing something wrong. That is a misnomer that is throughout the entire industry. It doesn't matter here in the United States or anywhere else. We provide systems and we specifically say these should not be used in a punitive manner. These are there to empower operators. And knowing that these systems work, which means that you have a, a, a set of trust that you can rely on these systems, but also when you are not at your best, be honest and say you're not at your best. The mind would much rather know, the operation would much rather know that you have a sick child at home or you yourself don't feel good because that will help them make the right decisions about what should be done that day. And these systems are, are part of that process. Because if an operator is up all night with a child who's coughing and has been sick and feels bad, they're gonna come to work very tired. They're gonna come to work distracted. They're gonna make decisions based off of what's best for them in lieu of saying, what do I need to do? 
And sometimes they need to be able to just say to their shift supervisor or their lead man or, or, or however, I, I need to take a 10 minute break and call home. You know, that's an important aspect that, that our systems can help create that environment. So I think when you look at it from what the operators need to hear, what the truck drivers need to hear, is that these systems are there to provide assistance, they provide a support mechanism to say you are too close or you are having a fatigue incident, but that you can trust that they're there to help you not to say you're going to get fired if this happens. When it comes to powered haulage safety, what's the better approach? Collision avoidance systems or operator alertness systems or both? Hexagon believes that some mine operations might be using both, but if those silos are not integrated, then you're not able to get all of the information, the data, that can really make your operation exponentially safer. I asked Josh first about collision avoidance systems. Some mines today are adopting to go with collision avoidance because it is a very easy way to communicate from an operator throughout the operation. You are too close, you are speeding, proximity is an issue, and now you have a system that says your truck is within 100 meters of another truck. Okay, and what about operator alertness? The Operator alertness system, the OAS, which is our fatigue and distraction system, which is based off of a camera with algorithms utilizing um, machine learning to look at the operator's eyes and facial structure to see fatigue and distraction into that way, is a little bit more used by operations to show the operator where their risk is and to say, look, you're nodding off, you're falling asleep. Now some operations start with OAS because they feel that that is the place that creates the proximity and collision variance. Mm -hmm. Other operations start with the collision avoidance, the CAS system, because it's an easier implementation in their eyes. But when you stack them together and you remove the silos that multiple safety systems in the past have created, you have a whole level of interoperability that moves throughout the operator into the operation. We are breaking down these silos. So it's one set of hardwares that runs our safety systems, our, our mind protect safety systems, our CAS and our OAS. That system also runs our fleet management system, which is an important integ integrated tool. So when you have all three of these systems running together, and then you can add on to it other aspects like our reverse assist system or our proximity assisted, our PA, it's called personal alert, which is a tag that, that, a, an op, that a person on the ground can wear to alert the operator that there's somebody near them. All the way up to our vehicle intervention system, which can actually take over the propulsion of the truck. So instead of having to put five different computers and three different screens and nine different antennas. It's all encapsulated into one. If you'd like to learn more about Hexagon safety technology and mining, feel free to email Josh Savitt at the address that you see here on the screen. All right, that's all for this month. On behalf of Core Safety and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. A couple of quick reminders before we go. Please follow us on Facebook and on Twitter for more safety information. And remember, when it comes to powered haulage or anything that you're doing on the job, please be safe out there and thanks for watching. Special thanks to Hexagon and to Josh Savitt for this month's interview. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.